name is Katie and I am so happy to be here and proud to be a volunteer with the YWCA and I am going to read a book for you today. The book is named Corduroy and it is by someone named Dan F Don Freeman. Corduroy by Don Freeman. Do you have a favorite animal? I, my children are all grown up now, but one of my children, when she was growing up, this was the favorite animal that she had. And she loved to hug this little pig and to sleep with this little pig. Well, Don Freeman writes about a bear named Corduroy. So let's see who Corduroy is and what happens in this story. Corduroy is a bear bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. He wanted to be someone's special stuffed animal. Well, the store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want to buy a small bear in green overalls. See, there he is on the shelf. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. He doesn't even look new, and I don't have any money to buy him anyway. Look, he's lost the button on one of his shoulder straps. Oh, my. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away, and the little girl sure looked sad too. Oh no, I didn't know that I had lost a button, Corduroy said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Well, later that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were all shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from the shelf and he began to search everywhere for his button. Well, look where he is near. He is near. <gasps> All of a sudden, he felt the floor moving right underneath him and quite by accident, he stepped on to an escalator that goes up, 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 up he went. <gasps> Could I be climbing a mountain? He wondered. He didn't know what was going on. Corday said, I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Well, he got to the top of the escalator and stepped off as it reached the next floor. And there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. He saw tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. He had arrived in the furniture department, but he said to himself, this must be a palace. Corduroy gasped. I think I've always wanted to live in a palace. Well, he wandered around admiring the furniture and then said, oh, this must be a bed. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. So up he crawled onto this big mattress and all of a sudden he noticed something small and round. Why look, there are buttons on this bed and he tried to pick it up. But just like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down very tight. So he pulled and he pulled and he pulled with both of his paws until pop, off came the button, off the mattress, and Corduroy fell over and he fell onto a tall lamp. Over it went with a crash. Well, Corduroy didn't know what to do, but all of a sudden he heard someone else awake in the store. It was the night watchman and he was going around his rounds. He was making sure everything was safe and then he heard that loud noise. So he came dashing down the escalator and said, now who in the world did that when he saw the lamp that had fallen down? Somebody must be hiding. Well, yes, someone was hiding. The watchman flashed his light 
under and over the sofas and beds until he came to a big, big bed, and there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Well, the watchman was very kind, wasn't he? He tucked Corduroy under his arm, and he carried him safely down the escalator, and he set him back on the shelf in the toy department with all the other animals and dolls. There's Corduroy. He looks kind of tired and sad, doesn't he? He was just waking up the next morning when the first customers came into the store and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted up what I've saved in my piggy bank and look, my mommy said that I could bring you home. She had taken all the money she saved and she brought it to the cashier who said, shall I put him in a box for you? Oh no, thank you, Lisa said. And she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She hugged him all the way, ran all the way up the four flights of steps in her apartment building and into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and a big bed and right next to it, a little bed that was just the right size for Corduroy. This must be home, he said. I know I always wanted a home. Well, Lisa sat down with Corduroy in her lap and she began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you just the way you are, she said but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap all fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and she gave him a big, big hug. Isn't that nice, a story of becoming friends Sometimes our friends can be a special person in the neighborhood. Maybe it might be a brother or a sister or somebody in our family. And sometimes our special friend can be a very special animal that we love to hug. I hope you have a special, a special toy that you love to hug. And I am so glad that I got to spend time with you with the book Corduroy. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.